Yeah. Hey, oh, the mechanic, what are we doing? Look at that. The backhoe already broke. So what happens when you get a fucking shitty backhoe that's been in the river three or four times, completely underwater, uh, the transmissions sometimes can be sketchy and affected by the lake, the lake water and the river. So, this is a Case 580E transmission. As you can see, I already started taking it apart. We yanked it out yesterday, it just started to stop pushing and driving forward. It's got a shuttle shift, you put it in gear, and you got forward and reverse, if you don't know, and so it stopped working. I don't know why. Reverse worked great, so if you wanted to back up everywhere and dig, it'd be great. But unfortunately, you can't do it all the time. So, yanked it out, got a rebuild kit here. Look at all these awesome parts we got. Uh, I've never rebuilt one of these, so it's gonna be a crash course. I've rebuilt lots of transmissions, manual and automatic, but I've never rebuilt a Case 580 transmission, but it seems pretty simple. It's got some forward gears, some reverse gears, planetary gear, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe it'll just explode again. So, look around it. What do you think? I just took the tail shaft off, which is just a little drive shaft. This is where your uh, rear output bearing would go. Pretty simplistic, you can just hammer that out and put another one in, and there's a seal, obviously. There should be a seal right there, yeah. It's just covered in mud. It keeps it from leaking out the output shaft seal. But, uh, yeah, we'll see it in a minute. I'm gonna take it down some more, we'll see. Hi. Look, it's all apart. It's like magic. It's like there's magic elves here that just took it all apart for us. It's crazy. So anyway, I took it apart. The first clutches you're gonna come to on, the, on this thing is your reverse clutches. And they look good. See, they look like they are uh, pretty new. And that's amazing because reverse works, so no shit. Reverse clutches are gonna be good because reverse works. This didn't have uh, forward. So forward is contained inside here. There's your sun and planetary gears inside here. This is your input shaft, slides inside there and engages your sun gear and your planet gears. And uh, this is your input shaft coming off of your torque converter. And the charge pump, of course, is this thing right here. Blah, blah. But in here is the real issue where your first gears are contained. Your forward gears, I should say. Because you don't have any first gears. You just have forwards in reverse. So forward gears, it's all these clutches inside here. And if you can look closely, they're burned and they look like shit. And that's indicative to uh, this pan. Look here. This is the filter that I pulled out of this pan. Look at that good stuff. It looks great, doesn't it? Here is the uh, inside. We can pull it out and it's just grit and grime. And what that grit and grime is, is uh, transmission discs. That's your four transmission discs. You know, time does it, water does it, just abuse does it, you know, whatever. But so basically, I mean, they're pretty simple little like transmissions, it looks like. It, it kind of just looks like a shuttle shift. It's just got a shuttle shift though. Velvet drive or something like that you'd call in a boat. It's just got forward and reverse, you know, and it's gonna run at whatever speed the engine's turning. So if the engine's turning a thousand RPMs, you're going forward a thousand RPM. You might have a little bit of gear reduction in this drop down, but I mean it's still gonna be about one to one. In the back hoe, you've got four speeds, so you can switch in the back of the transmission, the back of the rear end, it's got four gears. So this, like I said, it just goes forward and reverse. So now what we're gonna do is uh, take this apart, get to these clutch discs. If you made it this far, you pretty much know for sure that's what's wrong with it. Keep watching. Uh-huh. Hours later. Hey, check it out. So, took all the clutches out. Let's take a look. These are your clutches for forward. Got some crazy looking stuff. And then uh, this one is obviously rusted to shit from water from being bathed in the Tennessee River. And uh, look here, more fucked. And uh, more. And you get back over in here and there just isn't even any material. The material is just coming off. So obviously your car or your backhoe, whatever the hell you're working on, it's not gonna be propelled when your clutches look like that. So, those are out, the new ones are already in. This thing uh, has snap rings. There's a snap ring around this here, this little lip. And you pull that snap ring free and then this whole chamber comes out. You can put your new clutches in, put your new seals in. But those right there are uh, your four clutches. Makes you go forward. So when you think your automatic transmission is really tough, that's all. That's all you got. That's pushing you. <laughs> A bunch of small clutches. Scary, huh? Pretty scary. So anyway, now I put it back together. I'm gonna slide this whole hub assembly back in to the back of the transmission. I've already got new seals in here. 
It's kind of uh, self-explanatory, and if you have a parts manual, this isn't even a, a shop manual, it's just a parts manual. It just shows you what parts you could order from case if you wanted. So I mean, it's just good to have, like, when you're putting it back together, make sure you replace all the O-rings and the little seals, the retainers. Keep watching. So, we're almost done now. It's getting magical. It's getting fun. It's been resealed. I've got the new Ford clutches in it. I got the new reverse clutches. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you get in there? Can you really feel it? See, this is all the reverse clutches. If you would have taken them apart, these are the first ones that you're going to see. There's only three, I think, or four reverse clutches because you don't usually push dirt backwards in reverse. Not usually normal. Four clutches, you're going to get like seven or eight more. So what does that tell you? It tells you that the Ford's stronger than reverse because there's only three clutches in reverse and like six in Ford. Anyway, so now it's ready to button back up. Got the charge pump front. Here, there's new O-rings. The fucking shitty-ass kit I got didn't come with gaskets. I don't know why. Why on earth would they skimp on a gasket that costs 0.01 penny? But I did. I don't see it. See it. Maybe it's maybe it's still in China or wherever. So anyway, we'll put that together. Let's see if it works.